How can you find out on what pages a user leave your website in Google Analytics 4? Well, for that, you need a metric called exit page. And in this video, I'll show you how to see it and in what reports it shows up. <laughs> Hello, data people. I'm Robert from Clicks.ly, and I'm here to help you understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. Let's head to GA4 dashboard. Now, unfortunately, you cannot see exits in GA4 default reports. That's why we need to use Explore. So here, if you click on Explore, you can click on blank from here. And we're going to create exploration report. So what do you need to do here first? Just give this a name. Let's say exit pages. And then uh, let's add a dimension. Let's click on this plus. And what we need is path. So in the search box, type path. And then let's select this one and confirm. Then for metrics, let's click on this plus and we can add entrances. Then let's add sessions. Oops, one too many, one too many. Sessions are here and then we need exits. Let's add that and confirm. Okay, now we have all of them here, but nothing shows up because we need to double click on these and they go to the right places. So let's just double click on the, all everything we added so far. And now you can see that everything lines up here. So we have the entrances, we have the total sessions and we have the exits. Now, if you're not happy with the order, you can just scroll here and just drag the sessions above the entrances. Maybe that makes more sense. So from here, you'll be able to see the exits so the pages with highest exits. And you could also compare the entrances versus exits. So that way you have the exit rate if you want to. Unfortunately, we cannot add exit rate to this report and you could calculate it by basically taking the exits and the sessions and dividing them. So that's exits divided by sessions and then you have a percentage. So for example, for this one, it will be closer to 90%. You can do that by exporting this data to, for example, CSV or Google Sheets and then do the calculations there. Unfortunately, that's all you can do. Another bad thing about GA4 is that you cannot export this to Looker Studio. I think you can do it through BigQuery, but that's just a little bit more advanced and takes a little bit longer to set up. I want to quickly mention that data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I created a cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. Now you know how to see exit pages in GA4, but just looking at data without knowing how to turn it into insights will just waste your time. That's why you should watch this video next where I'll teach you my six-step system to turn data into insights.